Hello again, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be joining Spellbinders and lots of talented people today in the decorative glimmer hop. I'm really excited to tell you that there's lots of prizes to be won. So after you watch my video, please head on into the description where there is linked to all the products as well as links to the blog hop. I want to get started now and because I've never done a glimmer system video on my channel before, I wanted to give you the ins and outs of how the machine works. The first thing that you'll notice when turning the machine on is this red light that comes on to let you know that it's heating up and getting ready. This is the actual glimmer plate I'll be using for this card and it's called the Flower Pattern Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. For my foil, I'm using the Spellbinders Glimmer Foil and this is in polished brass. The width is pretty much exactly where I need it, but I do need to trim a bit just to make sure that it fits the dimensions of my glimmer plate. So I just take a pair of scissors and snip it where I think that it will fit, and it seems to be a really nice fit. So what I want to do now is just get all of my materials ready. So I'll be using this piece of Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. You can use any watercolor paper for this, but I'm going to be doing some foil resist. Now you'll see that I'm waiting for the machine to heat up. You see that light that goes on there in the center. That's the green light to let you know that it's ready for the glimmer plate to be placed on. Once I place my glimmer plate, I do want to sort of line it up on that grid because I won't be able to see it once I put my foil and the cardstock over it. I go ahead and press that timer button and I've sped this up here. It does take a bit longer than this in real life, but once it's ready, it's going to go from blinking to steady. And you'll see that happen here in just a second. When it's finally steady and ready to go, you'll be able to place your foil shiny part down, facing down towards the glimmer plate. And then you'll take whichever medium you're using today. Like I said, we're using cold press watercolor paper, and I'm going to place that right over the foil, which is over the glimmer plate. I'm then going to take my shim that comes with the machine when you order it and the top plate, and I'll be able to just slide this entire plate. It is a bit warm, but it's not going to burn you. You'll be able to slide it out and what I did there was actually put it through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. I did it off camera because of the way that my craft room is set up, but you can see once I bring it back, I have this incredibly beautiful and flawless impression with this gold foil. What I'm going to do now is use the tweezers that also come with the machine and place this on my cooling pad. I'll turn the machine off and put it aside to cool down. What I'm going to do now is some water coloring. And if you've heard of emboss resist, this is very similar to that. This is foil resist, and this will resist anything, ink blending, water coloring, anything like that. You wanna be careful with your Copics because certain mediums can ruin the nibs on the Copic markers themselves, but water coloring is absolutely no problem. I'm using Altenew watercolors here just to bring a lot of vibrancy into this. And I'm going to speed it up a bit so that you can see how I watercolor, but really so that you can notice the amount of resist you get. You don't get any dumbing down of that shine or the glimmer itself. It really shines through, no pun intended. And I love the way it all looks when it's done. I'm going to put a little bit of music on now just so you can watch me finish up. And I'll be back in just a minute when I'm fully done with the watercoloring. So jumping ahead a bit here is the finished uh, watercolor card panel and I'm going to go in now with the Hello Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. This comes with the actual Glimmer Foil 
plate and also the die that cuts it out of the cardstock. So this is really handy because you can take this and place it onto a card that you've already decorated or already designed. Even if it doesn't have foil on it, it can be a really great centerpiece for your card. So I'm going to use the same uh, method that I used before as well as the same uh, glimmer foil that I used, which was polished brass. And I'm doing, again, the same thing with the uh, shim and then the clear plate right on top of that. Again, I'm going to take that off and put that through my Platinum 6 die cutting machine. Now this will go through with the actual hot foil plate on the bottom and no cut plates or base plates needed. It'll just go right through there. I'll go ahead and remove the foil and again you see I get this really incredible result every single time and the difference between this and just regular foiling is that you get that pressed into the paper which in my opinion just gives that extra bit of dimension and makes it just all that more special. So here I actually show you how I put it through the die cutting machine as I was thinking maybe they'd like to see that. Uh, so now I'm just going to very carefully pull this off because I used some low tack painters tape to make sure that it didn't move around in the die cutting machine. And you'll see here that I have the perfect space in between. I really felt like these two glimmer plates worked incredibly well together. It just fits right in the center there where you have that a sort of opening between the flowers but also just a sentiment strip would work really well there as well or another flower or some sort of image but I thought that this uh, hello in particular uh, just worked really well. After I placed this hello I realized I was slightly off center so I went ahead and trimmed this down to three and three quarters by five inches and then adhered it with foam tape to an A2 size card base of white cardstock, and I love the way that this turned out. Moving on now to my second example for foil resist, I'm going to go ahead and use this glimmer plate, and this is called the Flower Border Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. This can be used as, like it says, a border on a card, but I'm actually going to be using it as the center piece of my card front. So you can see that this foil doesn't span the entire width of that uh, glimmer foil, foil plate, but that's okay because all I need it to do is span the width of where I want it on my card front. So I've got this piece of cardstock, and this is just Nina Solar White, and I've got it trimmed down to four by five and a quarter. Now I went ahead and used some green foil with this because I just think that it looks really great with these uh, this foliage and these leaves. So I just put that on the top center portion spanning across the width of my cardstock. Now I'm using different Hero Arts uh, inks just to give a nice vibrancy to the card. And again, this is showing just a great way to use foil resist. I'm using some blender brushes just so I can get a really nice blend, but I'm going from a pink to an orange to a yellow and I just really love the way that this sort of makes an ombre appearance and then I'll go ahead at the very end and use some dark purple there on the very uh, left hand side where the pink is just to give it a little bit more of a darker color on the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off that painter's tape and I ended up I just put that there um, to make sure that I didn't get any on the rest of the card but you can see that the shine stays intact. I don't get any uh, pullback of the shine or the glimmer because I did some uh, ink blending over top. And I just added a happy die from one of the uh, small die kits and then create your own happiness, which is a Simon Says Stamp sentiment. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how you can use foil resist in your cards. As always, all of the links to the products and to my blog, which is part of the blog hop, are in the description. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.